How you guys doing? I'm back again with another video, and uh, today I decided to do an update on my top 10 most disturbing, fucked up movies. Um, I don't normally like to curse on here, but that's really the only way to put it. These are the most effed up movies that I have ever watched. Um, I previously did a top 15 of my most disturbing movies. And uh, as time has gone on, they, they've kind of changed around. Some other new ones have made it into my top 10 and other ones have gone away. Um, you know, as, as people, we, we kind of just change and, and things that might have disturbed me five years ago don't disturb me as much as other things do now. That's just human nature. We change over time. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show some other other movies that are definitely disturbing in my collection but didn't make it into my top 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started into that. Fetus. Begotten. Inside. The Burning Moon. Why is not I got this? I don't know if I said that right, but I hope I did. The girl next door. Subconscious cruelty. A couple different editions. Murder set pieces. And the number one runner up which would technically be number 11, but the first one X'd out of my top 10. Please don't ask me why I didn't make it into my top 10, because it really should have, but just for some reason, I, I could not put this one in place of the other one. So the first runner up is The Human Centipede 2. Um, the first one was definitely disturbing, but there was just something really fucked up and wrong about The Human Centipede 2. And it definitely, is I know in, in a lot of people's top tens, but for, for the time being, it's my number 11. So that's the human centipede too. All right, guys, let's, um, gonna go ahead and, and get into my, my top 10 now. So it was really, really hard to pick my top 10, um, especially putting them in order. Now they, these certainly could change around, but for the time being, these are are from number 10 to number one. So I hope you guys en enjoy what I'm about to show you. Um, and again, this is my opinion. This is my top 10. I'm not saying these are the most disturbing movies out there or that they're going to be disturbing for you. They, this is just for me personally. They were disturbing for me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I did cheat. A little bit technically um, for number 10 because I actually included two movies but they're they're basically based on the same exact thing and that's why I, I chose to include both of them and the two movies I'm referring to is philosophy of a knife and men behind the Sun um, these are two very very messed up movies that are that are based on actual events, what really happened about Unit uh, 731 and all the, the messed up stuff they did to the Japanese people, all the, the experiments and how they tortured them and just showing, you know, what really happened to these people. It was just completely crazy. Um, you know, this, this one right here kind of, you guys want to read that. It, it tells you exactly, you know, what, what kind of happened. And then... Men Behind the Sun right here. Um, you know, th th this was just really messed up movie. R a little bit too long, but um, I, I enjoyed it. It's definitely one I, I, I liked watching. And then the other edition I have of Men Behind the Sun right here. It's a limited edition one right here. This one's pretty hard to get, but this one has 40 collector's cards, but yeah, the, these films are, are very twisted. 
Next one we have at number nine is the Vomit Gore Trilogy. Now these these movies are definitely not for everybody. Um, if if you're squeamish and you you can't really handle blood and guts and and vomit and puke and piss and all that, avoid this these movies. These are very messed up movies. Um, I mean, you kind of see on the on the back right there, just the types of movies they are. Um, I re I really like this box set because on the disc, you know, it has really interesting artwork. You know, like a a turtle and uh, an octopus and like a deer or something. This one right here. I can't really show the underneath artwork on the inside because it it shows women's boobs and stuff. So I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, but yeah, definitely. If, you, if you're into disturbing movies, check out Lucifer Valentine's Vomit Gore Trilogy. Definitely a messed up one. So that was my uh, my number nine. And and if you guys, um, you know what, if, if you leave me comments, you know, tell me what you what you think about these particular editions I'm showing you. If you agree with the position and I'm putting them in my top ten. Or if you think they shouldn't even be considered disturbing movie, you know, let me know. I, I would like your opinion. Um, so, next one we have at number eight is Scrapbook. Now, this movie isn't very well known, but it's it's a really messed up movie about bullying and stuff like that. I'm not going to give too much away, but if you are into messed up disturbing movies, you know, taking people prisoner, torturing, this movie definitely is deserving to be in to anybody's top 10 disturbing movies. In my opinion, this movie was really messed up. This particular edition right here was really hard for me to get, but I was really happy to get this one. So that is my number eight scrapbook. Number seven, Snuff 102. Infamous Snuff 102. I mean, this movie is just crazy it's just so dark and demented um you can kind of tell that from the the cover right there um but if you have not seen this one yet definitely check out snuff 102 number six this one didn't make it into my last top 15 i don't know how it didn't but somehow it eluded me but it's in this one and that's Salo. Or the 120 Days of Sodom. Um, this this movie just has everything: torturing, pissing, shitting, uh, just so many different levels of depravity. You know, it, it's just so disgusting. It, this movie was really hard to sit through, especially certain parts. Um, I'm, I don't want to give too much away, but sitting at the dinner table, there's just certain things that go on that people are eating, and it makes it really makes you sick to your stomach. This is the, the Criterion edition right here of Salo. And um, yeah, th this movie was really just messed up. And to think if this really happened, like God, what, what is wrong with people, you know? Like seriously. Next one we have, I believe this is number five, Grotesque. Um, I don't know, too many people talk about this one, but this movie is just so freaking messed up it's not a very good film but it's it's very disturbing i mean especially to think if there are actually people out there that really do this kind of sick shit that just basically they they get off they have no n nothing else to do they have more money than anybody else and they're so bored that they just decide to kidnap some people and want to torture them and that's basically the plot for this movie uh it's very sick, you know, it, it, again, if you haven't seen this and you're into these kind of films, definitely check out Grotesque. Okay, now we're getting into my top five. Starting off with number five, we have Melancholy Der Angle. Um, this is a, the movie is way too long, but it, it's, it's really messed up. This, this one is from Germany. And uh, th this this film has everything. The, the most notable scene is is the castration 
scene or with the uh, oh what is it the Colossum D bag um, they basically rip out the, the handicapped person's Colossum I don't know if you, how you say coloscopy bag or whatever it is, and it it's just so messed up. This whole movie, um, this one is not for everybody. Uh, it, it, it's it's a little bit too long, but it definitely deserves number five spot. And number four, we have Cannibal Holocaust. Now a couple different editions right here. But yeah, this this movie is like the one that basically, like you know, started the whole uh, found footage type of films. Um, this movie is notorious for the fact that they really killed animals in this movie and they, and they and they released it on film um you know they 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 wanted to actually arrest the director because they thought that they the people that were killed in the movie were actually really killed in real life and they they wanted to charge the the director with with actual manslaughter so i mean this movie is just the whole atmosphere of this movie is just so messed up and disturbing it's so hard to think that this movie is not real because it feels so real while you're watching this movie it's just it's such um, a suspenseful movie and and the special effects all that in this movie works so well together this is definitely top dog as far as uh, cannibal movies go so that is my number four cannibal holocaust Actually, I'm sorry, that was my number th number three. So, number two, we have a Serbian film. Um, this movie, it basically just is most known for the newborn porn scene. And uh, the most messed up scene in the movie for me was actually where... The, the porn star, uh, what the hell's his name? Milos, this guy right here, I don't know if you can really see it, but it just kind of shows him there. He's, he's fucking this, this girl, and uh, he's all doped up on some kind of uh, animal um, tranquilizer or like steroids, and it makes him basically go crazy, and it, right in the middle as he's doing her, they hand him a machete and he and he's still doing her and he cuts her head off and as her severed head falls off he keeps fucking her with blood squirting everywhere and the head's rolling around on the bed and i mean that was just like wow you know what i mean like they really just tried to go o o as over the top as they could and they really did that i mean this movie is seriously messed up especially with the ending scene so i definitely had to put this one at number two a serbian film and for my number one, this was also my number one in my top 15. And for now, it's, it's, it's just going to stay that way. This movie, it, it still is the most disturbing movie for me that I have ever seen out of any movie. And that's Mart Martyrs. Um, I actually need to watch this one again. I haven't watched it for a little while. It's been a couple months. But every, every time I see this movie... Um, it, it's just so it's just so messed up um the suspense the acting from both these girls in this movie is what really makes this movie um it, there's so much depth and weight to this movie you know whether whatever your beliefs may be in in, a, in god or buddha or allah whatever whatever any of that is you know a lot of that there's a lot more meaning to this than just being sick and depraved and disturbing but this has everything, you know, it has torture, um, capturing, um, uh, abuse, you know, just really crazy graphics and, and special effects are just top notch in this movie. If you have not seen Martyrs, definitely check this one out. Um, I, I recommend the Blu-ray, but yeah, 
these this movie is my number one. So that is it for my that's my top ten guys. Now, let me know what you guys think about my top ten if you agree with the titles that I include in this or or whatever you thought. So until the next one guys, take care.